Uh, in this tutorial, I would like to quickly uh, revise uh, partial fractions. Uh, this is very important uh, when uh, using uh, Fourier transforms or later on even Laplace and uh, uh, ZZ transforms and solving differential equations or difference equations. Um, and uh, the reason for that is you will get some fraction and uh, it will have a lot of terms in the denominator but um, you to take the inverse transform you need uh, simpler terms. Uh, to uh, to um, exp to you know explain what I'm trying to say, uh, let's let's just directly jump into our uh, first example. So we'll just take a simple uh, fraction, okay? And this is x. Actually, I'll write x a little more clearly. So this is x minus one times x, okay, minus two. And what I want to do is um, I want to separate out these x minus 1 and x minus 2 terms. Okay, so what I want is something like a1 upon x minus 1, okay, plus a2 upon x minus 2. Okay, that's what partial fractions means. I want to take this fraction and I want to resolve into these uh, two partial fractions. Okay, so in such a way that if I add this, if I take the common denominator of these, I should get my original uh, fraction. Okay, so that's what uh, partial fraction expansion expansion means. Okay, and uh, um, when you have a term like x minus one or x minus two, okay, no, no, it's it's a first degree polynomial. It's a polynomial polynomial of degree one. Okay, there are no square terms or cube term cube terms. Okay, for x, when when your uh, factors, you can see you can see I've resolved the denominator into factors. This could have actually been uh, x square. Um, plus uh, x square minus 3x plus 2 okay uh, if, if I factorize that polynomial I will get these two terms and the final factorized polynomial has only one degree terms right so then to resolve it into partial fractions I will only have a constant on top and I will have uh, this x minus 1 and then plus x, min x minus 2 okay and so on so I, I can expand it like this so next what I do is in my second step I will take the common denominator okay so this will be a1 times uh, x uh, minus 2 uh, plus a2 times x minus 1 upon x minus 1 into x minus 2 okay and that's what i've done in my next step i will uh, collect the uh, x terms and the constant terms together so i will get uh, x times uh, a1 plus a2 a1 plus a2 okay this should be an x okay and uh, plus I should get a uh, minus 2 a1 okay um, minus a2 right okay and this will continue to be the same denominator so I get x minus 1 into x minus 2 okay and you now uh, what's my original problem I'm tr I'm saying that this huge fraction is my original fraction right you can see the denominators are same and f so for the fractions to be equal uh, the numerators have to be same so to get the values of a1 and a2 what I do is I compare terms you can see that there is no x term you know there's only a constant here the, so you know this term has to be 0 right which means a1 plus a2 is 0 so we get our first equation here a1 plus a2 equals 0 right and you can see that this constant term is 1 so this entire thing okay should be equal to 1 right so with this I will get uh, minus 2a1 uh, minus a2 equals 1 right and if I solve this I will get uh, a1 equals minus 1 and a2 equals 1 okay that's what I'll get and so if I put those values for a1 and a2 here I will get 1 upon x minus 2 I've taken this in the beginning okay minus 1 upon x minus 1 okay and this is my partial fraction expansion all right so this is one uh, this was one example and uh, what we'll we'll do another example okay so let me just uh, delete this off okay 
okay and yeah that's enough so now what we'll do is uh, we'll add uh, some we'll just you know I increase the complexity so i'll add one x plus one term here and i'll make this x minus two the whole squared okay so in this case uh, what we do is we write a one upon x minus one just like last time plus a two upon x minus two again just like last time but now we need a third term okay I won't go into the proofs for all this. You, know, you can find the proofs in any uh, standard uh, algebra textbook. And uh, so the term, third term would be x minus 2 the whole squared. Okay. So this is x minus 2 the whole squared. So what we get here is we have uh, the one degree term. We have another one degree term for this. Plus we have the second degree term like this. Okay. So a2 plus and so on. So we need to follow exactly the same procedure we take the common denominator so we get a1 times x minus 2 the whole squared plus a2 times x minus 1 into x minus 2 plus a3 times x minus 1 right um, and okay, let me just uh, draw that line again shift key okay shift key doesn't work okay and uh, x minus 1 times x minus x minus 2 the whole squared okay and uh, again we'll uh, expand each of this and you know collect the x x square terms and so on so I'll just expand it first so you get a1 times um, x square um, minus 4x plus 4 uh, plus uh, a2 times uh, x x squared uh, this should be minus 3x plus 2 am I right yes okay plus a3 times x minus 1 okay and again this whole thing has the same denominator x minus 1 into x minus 2 the whole squared and now I'll again collect x square terms x terms and the constant term so this will give me um, x square times a1 plus a2 okay uh, plus what will I get here I should get x times I will get minus 4 a1 okay and uh, minus 3a2 okay um, plus this plus 1 right so plus 1 okay and then the last one will be the constant term which I will write here plus uh, 4a1 1 uh, plus 2a2 am I right yes okay minus a3 because there's a minus one here right and we have the same denominator again oops okay anyway and x minus one into x minus i'm reaching the end of the tablet okay x minus two the whole square okay and just like last time we'll again compare terms okay so we get a1 plus a2 equals 0 and why is that that's because there's no x square term right okay and then we get a uh, minus 4 a1 minus 3 a2 okay, this should be a minus 3 okay plus a3 equals um, this is an x term right so you can see that the coefficient of x over here is 1 so we'll um, put 1 over here okay and then finally my 4a so I get 4a1 plus 2a2 okay minus a3 equals this one right it's supposed to equal one okay so that's one and if I solve this by using um, uh, any any method I, I prefer elimination or possibly even substitution so I will just say I'll just write down the answer I get a1 equal to uh, I get a1 equal to 2 
I get a2 equal to minus 2 okay which makes sense because a1 plus a2 is 0 and then I get a3 equals 3 okay if I just solve these so what's my partial fraction expansion so it's 2 upon x minus 1 minus 2 upon x minus 2 plus 3 upon x minus 2 the whole squared okay and that's that's my partial fraction expansion all right there is a third type of uh, there's a third form as well okay and we'll just do the third and final form okay and uh, we just clear it all out okay so the third form the third example uh, will contain uh, a two degree term in the denominator which cannot be uh, factorized because that uh, the quadratic ex expression will not have real roots and uh, to tell you what I mean let's just write down the problem so I have x plus 2 in the do in the numerator okay and this is x plus 1 this time and for my second term I will have x squared uh, plus x and uh, plus 4 okay and if you do the check if you see the discriminant of this you if you remember discriminant is b square minus 4 a c right so b square is 1 okay okay and 4 a c is uh, 4 times 4 into 1 right so you get minus 16 okay this equals minus 15 and since this is less than 0 okay the roots of this would be imaginary right if you remember uh, quadratic equations and since you have imaginary roots you cannot uh, you cannot factorize this with uh, real factors right so we cannot we cannot uh, simplify this part we cannot expand this uh, not simplify we can't expand this uh, polynomial so what do we do in this case so in this case i will continue to have my a1 upon x plus 1 because that's a one degree term but since this is a two degree term i will have let's call this b1x plus c1 okay this will be my form c1 upon x squared plus x plus 4 okay so when i have this uh, two degree term uh, which cannot be resolved into factors i will just write the same term again but in my numerator i will have this b1x plus c1 okay so i'll have one degree term in the numerator and now i can just now everything is just like before i will take the common denominator and x squared plus x plus 4 okay plus uh, b1 x plus c1 times um, x plus 1 and this is divided by uh, x plus 1 times x squared plus x plus 4 okay so that's my that's the entire thing and now um, I'll have to you know, m multiply these two so I will get a1 times x squared plus x plus 4 okay that's as before plus b1 x squared plus x into b1 plus c1 plus c1 okay and that's my second term and uh, let me just uh, do the denominator x1 pl x plus 1 into x squared plus x plus 4 okay and again let me collect the uh, x squared terms and the x terms and the constant terms so i will get x squared times a1 plus b1 okay and then i should get x into a1 plus b1 plus c1 and uh, plus what do i get i get i think 4a1 yeah 4a1 plus c1 right that's my constant term okay and i'm not going to write the denominator whatever the denominator is over here okay again let's compare there's no x square term in the numerator so a1 plus b1 equals 0 there is an x term and the coefficient of x is 1 so um, a1 plus b1 plus c1 equals 1 okay and uh, my final equation is 4a1 plus c1 a1 plus c1 and that's equal to 2 in this case okay so that's equal to 2 okay and uh, 
if we solve this we will get a1 equals 1 upon 4 okay 1 fourth and since a1 plus b1 is 0 we get b1 uh, minus 1 by 4 okay and c1 will be equal to 1 okay if we solve all this so what's my partial fraction expansion so you get uh, 1 fourth of uh, 1 upon x plus 1 okay uh, plus uh, minus 1 fourth x uh, plus 1 upon x squared plus x plus 4 okay and you can simplify this if you want to but I'll, I'll leave the answer here so this is the uh, partial fraction expansion and uh, you need pretty much this uh, only this much uh, uh, suppose this was an executed term i would have b1 x square plus c1 x plus d now you can you can just go ahead from that and uh, and and you know that's 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 about it partial fractions very simple uh, you've probably done this already i just wanted to revise this uh, if you've done integration you would have definitely done partial fractions because that's a very important technique of integration you know by resolving a resolving a uh, rational i mean a, a, a polynomial into you know into pa into partial fractions you can easily integrate it i'd like to do one more quick example i'm not going to solve it completely uh, but uh, just uh, demonstrate one uh, general rule so one thing we need for a partial fraction expansion is um, we have this uh, expression like you know f of x uh, by g of x where f of x and g of x are uh, polynomials okay and uh, what's important is that the degree of f of x is less than the degree of g of x that's very important so suppose uh, we had a function like x squared plus 3 upon uh, let's say mm, x plus 1 uh, into x plus 2 okay so this is x plus 1 into x plus 2 and uh, the de degree of the denominator is 2 because if you multiply these two together you will get x square plus uh, 3x plus 2 but the degree of the num numerator is also 2 right um, but I just said that the degree of the numerator must be less so we need to somehow change this to degree 1 so what we do is I will just add x okay and I will also subtract x okay so it's like not doing anything and I will collect this x square term and this x term together so I will get x squared minus sorry plus x okay i'll collect those two terms plus 3 minus x right i'll get this upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 okay this is what we've got and now i will just separate these two terms so i will get x and uh, what what i'll also do is i'll take this x out common so i'll get x into x plus 1 upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 okay and i also get this plus 3 minus x upon x plus 1 times x plus 2 okay and uh, this we know how to expand this into partial fractions i just did an exam this this is like the first example i did but this requires some more work so you can see i have this x plus 1 here and this x plus 1 here so i can just cancel these terms out uh, so i get x upon x plus 2 okay and i will get the same term as before this still doesn't satisfy the condition here i still have the same degree so what do i do in this case i will add and subtract 2 okay so i get x plus 2 upon x plus 2 minus 2 upon x plus 2 right okay so this this cancels and i get 1 minus 2 upon x plus 2 plus this whatever term okay so um, suppose the degree is uh, of this is greater than this or equal to this you know you need to somehow uh, separate out the terms this will require th this will come you know from experience whenever you solve more and more problems but um, this is the general approach on uh, you know s on solving partial fractions so I guess uh, this should this should be enough for now